Hi, I'm Genuine Nard, like the oil poured out on Jesus' feet in the Bible. And this is my series on everything I've learned about growing my natural hair since my big chop. So many of my friends are discovering great hair rinses. They are a ton of fun to make. And in this next segment, I show you several different ones and why they're important to use on your hair. Some people sleep on hair rinses, but I really love them. I use one about twice a month. Why use a rinse after you've shampooed your hair? That's a great question. A good rinse will balance your hair's pH. pH plays an important role in the strength of your hair. So the pH scale runs from 0 to 14, with 0 to 6 being acidic, 7 being neutral, and 8 to 14 being alkaline. Your hair's pH should sit between 4 and 6 at its healthiest. A great rinse can also enhance your natural hair color. Now this is not the same as covering grays, but a good rinse will brighten blondes, make reds clearer, and add a rich chocolate to brunettes. The cuticle of your hair is colorless, and as it closes, it reflects light. A rinse can close that cuticle enough to boost your shine. And a rinse can boost the circulation to the scalp, which triggers your hair follicles promoting growth. Now there are so many variations to a good rinse, I couldn't really narrow down a recipe. I'm gonna show you two in this video, but I like to balance one part acidic, one part neutral, and two parts water. You can pause and print screen so that you can have it. I love apple cider vinegar and I use it on a ton of stuff. ACB contains several natural acids and they clarify your hair and exfoliate your scalp, removing dead skin cells as well as product buildup that can block your pores. It's also believed to trigger hair follicles promoting hair growth. Now, I recently learned how to do these fancy infused vinegars, and they're really great fun. So into the pot, this whole bottle goes. Now in this recipe, I'm infusing with exotic hibiscus. I buy big containers of this at my farmer's market, and I use it to make beauty tea. Now when used on the hair, hibiscus stops excess shedding almost immediately. It not only darkens your hair, but it prevents premature graying and it can prevent split ends. Let's talk a little bit about infusing. It simply means putting all the nutrients or other qualities of one thing into another thing. In the art of apothecary, you can easily infuse oil, water, vinegar, and honey. Because I have super dark hair and I want a really dark color, I'm using heat to break down this hibiscus. But time and sunlight work really good too. Top on the pot, and when it changes colors, we're done. In the alternate recipe, I'm using clear vinegar. There are a few notable differences. The pH level of clear vinegar is slightly more acidic than apple cider vinegar, which is why I'm not using the whole bottle. Either will help to smooth the hair's cuticle for an enhanced shine. In this one, I'm infusing with rosemary. Rosemary stimulates the blood circulation to the scalp and it promotes hair growth. This herb offers an anti-inflammatory benefit that nourishes hair follicles and soothes inflammation. Now people always ask me where do I get my herbs? I grow most of them in pots on my patio. Now if you're a natural blonde, try infusing with chamomile flowers. And if you're a redhead, try some exotic saffron. The possibilities are really endless. Now in this infusion, I don't use heat. I use a ton of rosemary and thyme. <laughs> See what I did there? But I add the stalks and all. And I don't really measure. I know I'm gonna use this entire baggie. Now the funnel might look a little strange, but without it, the rosemary would flake all over my kitchen and make a huge mess. Looping back to clear vinegar also, if you color your hair, keep in mind that it can lift hair dye. Also, if you have naturally light colored hair, like a blonde or a redhead, clear is obviously better because it's colorless. Now, as this breaks down, it's going to change to a caramel color. That's when it's ready to use. I probably shouldn't have used a knife. 
and rosemary is believed to darken the hair. Now that it's all in there, I just top it off with a little bit of water. And you get the idea, this is one alternative out of many, many, many. So let's get back to our original mix. So once the vinegar has completely cooled, I strain it back into its plastic container. And it comes in a plastic container for a reason. If you use vinegar with metal, it will react and it'll rust it. And this little bottle is ready to go. You can see the color is much darker than when we started. And this infusion will last for months. The next ingredient I add is coffee. Now coffee is one of my favorite flavors on the planet. It's how I know God loves me. <laughs> and it's super good for growing your hair. Why? because of all of the caffeine in coffee. Now I drink a cup of coffee every day without fail. And when I brew a pot to make my morning start right, I keep a little extra for my hair. The main benefit of caffeine is that it can help promote hair growth straight from the root in the antigen phase of the growth cycle. And it targets a nasty hormone called DHT, which causes hair loss. Further research has even shown that caffeine can speed up the hair growth cycle and increase hair length from 33 to 40%. These numbers are huge. And besides being delicious, coffee boosts the color on brunette hair beautifully. If you don't do anything else, coffee is the real, y'all. An alternative would be to use champagne or beer. I only have beer funds, so that's what I use. The malt and hops found in beer are loaded with protein, which nourish and strengthen the hair. Beer also can repair dried and damaged hair. And the alcohol in beer and champagne contain B vitamins, which make your hair shine. Now, just a warning, the smell of beer does linger for a while, so don't use this before work, church, or an AA meeting. To finish, I combined my hibiscus vinegar with cooled coffee and two cups of water in a measuring container. The last step is to fill my plastic shower container. This was about a dollar and it's really great because there's no metal parts. It's easy pour and this will keep in my shower for about two months. Last thing, I put my top on and this rinse works on my hair like a little miracle. And that's it. Rinses are so simple and fun to make. They make great gifts. I give them to all of my natural sisters who are transitioning and they are all addicted to these great rinses. Plus it's gonna give your hair that extra coat of nutrition and protection when you are handling your hair, taking it up or down. So I hope you try rinses. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And thank you for staying until the end. Thank you again for watching. I would love to hear your success stories in the comments. You can click the red and subscribe to find all the videos in this series. Click here and check out these other cool videos and click the bell to get weekly reminders when I post something new.